One of the best things about summer is getting that fresh sun-kissed look. Not in the mood to sit out in the sunshine? No problem. You don't even need the sun's help to add some extra glow to your face. Kell on Living's makeup expert Jody Hunter with Bombshell Beauty and model Megan Birch are here to show us ways to add illumination to our summer makeup routine for a flawless glowing look. Welcome ladies. Thank you. Now I love the sound of this and when we think of summer glow, if we're adding this with our makeup, what exactly does this mean? So you want to look bronzy and fresh and glowy for summer. Um, when you're out at the lake, you, you always want to get that natural tan, but you can also enhance it with makeup as well. So having a glow is just amazing. Everybody feels better with the tan. So let's start by talking about tips Okay. For a summer glow, before we even talk about adding the makeup part of it, how yes. we can just get that healthy skin. So glow starts from within. So you want to make sure that you're drinking plenty of water to really hydrate and plump your skin. And then also having a really good balanced diet will just give you a really good glow. Eating tons of vegetables and stuff like that will make your skin amazing. Um, and then um, there's a couple tips that you can do to add into your regular makeup routine to enhance um, your makeup, make it a little bit glowy for summertime. So drinking plenty of water, always wear sunscreen. That's one thing I should mention too. Um, and yeah, less is more. So we're going to talk about some stuff for that. And you have a little secret too when it comes to wearing sunscreen because yes. putting, kicking on that sunscreen and then putting foundation over it doesn't really do you justice. Yes, it makes your, um, you want to protect your skin, but it also, if you're wearing a ton of sunscreen underneath your foundation, it can make it slip. So using a tinted moisturizer with a built-in SPF is a really good um, way to get your sun protection, but also have coverage with your makeup and not um, making your makeup slip off throughout the day. So tinted moisturizer. So what if I don't want to buy new products for summer or a new foundation? What are some ways I can use my own foundation, but maybe thin it out so it's not so sure. full? So what I love to do is I am a full coverage foundation girl. So what I like to do in the summertime for a, keeping the coverage, but giving it more of a glowy, dewy um, finish is adding a couple drops of your favorite beauty oil. So you can add like a sweet almond oil or an argan oil to your current foundation. It shears it out, gives it a different finish, gives it a little bit of a glowy finish. Um, and that way you don't have to go out and buy like a separate foundation for summer. Um, these are really inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon. I think these were 10 bucks a piece and they're organic. So they're amazing. And you can also use them as skincare as well. So. All right, well, let's show everyone now how yeah. to actually create that summer glow yes. with makeup, starting with the face. Sure, so we already did Megan's foundation. We did a really light coverage foundation on her. Um, she did her concealer, and then we're going to add bronzer to the high points of the face. So I'm going to use this Hourglass Ambient Lighting um, bronzer and then on a big fluffy brush, and we're just going to hit the face where the sun would naturally bronze you or give you a tan. So how do you know where the sun is naturally hitting you if you're in the bathroom sure. putting so, the sun? Well, think about the times when you're a kid and you get a sunburn. So like okay. top of the forehead, top of the cheeks, on the bridge of the nose, and then I always like to bring it down on the jawline a little bit just to give an extra little contour. And if you're you know, using bronzer to give yourself a tan. You always want to bring it down onto the chest a little bit. You can even do it on the arms. Don't be afraid to bring your bronzer down onto your body as well. But you want to hit the main points. So um, top of the forehead, I always bring it around like a contour. You could do a three like this. So you could hit the forehead, top of the cheeks, and then under the jawline. So this is not actually contouring. If you're going to contour your face, you do that first and then you add this? Yeah, you don't okay. have to do both. You, I like to do both just because I'm a little extra and bougie, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's called brontour. So it's like bronzing and contouring all in the same step. So you'll get the same effect from um, doing bronzer as your contour and it eliminates having to do two separate steps. So Okay, do you use sense. anything extra as far as like a highlighter when creating a glow? Yes, so after doing your bronzer, then you want to um, do highlighter. So you want to highlight the high points of the face. This is the Charlotte Tilbur Tilbury um, highlighter palette. and It's little... gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's got all the, it's got a light shade, a medium shade, and then a dark bronzy shade. Um, Megan's pretty fair, so we're going to hit the top of the cheekbones, 
We're going to do a little bit down the bridge of the nose. I like to do the Cupid's bow. And then you can also, this is like one of my best tips, you guys, is um, hitting the collarbones if you have an exposed shirt. What does that do? This will make you look skinnier and it just looks amazing. So when the light will hit you in these areas, you'll just look skinny and cute and bronzy and glowy. And it's amazing. So every single client that comes to my studio, I do this one. All right, we have about a minute and a half yeah. left, so I just want to get to the eyes and lips as well and how yes. you created that summer glow look with that. Yeah, so we did um, bronzer. So we used a bronzer out of this palette, and we just used a fluffy brush in the crease to bring the color of her eyes out. And then we did a little bit of gold, like a bronzy J-Lo type eye, a little bit of glitter, tons of lashes, and then we would follow up with a lip gloss. And gloss over lipstick, you guys, gloss is everything. So, so if I were to be spending the day out at a pool and I maybe didn't want all that sparkle on my eye, what is a way I can make this more natural? You could use your highlighter palette and just put a little bit of this on your eyes. So okay. using your bronzer and your highlighter as your eyeshadow is an amazing way to not only save money on makeup and you're utilizing it for different things. So do you use makeup on any other parts of your body besides collarbone yes. and face? Yes, I always use body makeup. This is the new Huda Beauty body makeup and you just pump a little bit, mix it with a body lotion and then you apply it to the arms and the legs. The legs is the best. The legs as well? Yes. Always, always add body makeup to the legs to give you that glow. So. All right. Well, this is absolutely fantastic. Yes. And Megan, you look beautiful. So thank you so much for coming in yes. and sharing us. Absolutely.